just wanna take the time Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. We're gonna jump right into this video. So the unit here that I have was sent to me by RPG here. Inside the packaging, it came with a wig cap, a rat tail comb, a flyaway balm to fix flyaway hairs, as well as some extra straps to tighten your wig. So I have there so I have a 14 inch curly bob lace front wig. It's 180% density. And of course, I'll leave all the information in the description box below for you guys to check them out. The wig already comes pre-plucked and pre-bleached. What I really love is how fine the knots are. They're very nice and light. They're not like super super big bulbs of hair. So I'm definitely not going to be re-bleaching them or anything like that. However, I'm going to be plucking the hairline a little bit further. But if you're a beginner and you're not comfortable plucking, you can definitely um, go ahead with installing the wig without doing any plucking or any bleaching. So I wet the hair for a couple of reasons. First reason is because it's a lot easier to pluck and tweeze when the hair is wet. And also, when I have curly hair, I love to wet it because you can see the true curl pattern of the hair. So you can kind of see what you're working with. They've already done such a good job tweet, uh, customizing the wig. So it is beginner friendly. However, I just want to go in and just further customize it myself, which is obviously completely optional. So after tweezing, you can definitely see the difference between the side that I've tweezed here and this side here. It's a little bit more defined, although they did a great job, it's a little bit more defined on this side. So the hair is completely plucked to my liking. And what I did was I just completely drenched it in water because I need it to be as defined as possible because now I'm just gonna set it using Lata Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse and this is gonna help set the hair and give it that wet look even though it's dry. Now to help the hair set in its natural curl, I'm using the one and only Argan Oil Oil Treatment. And this just gives it some sheen. And it helps seal in the curls as well. And I really like it because sometimes when you use the mousse on its own, it tends to get frizzy a lot quicker. So I find that adding the oil, it definitely helps with defining the curl and it helps with keeping the wet look a lot longer. So I'm really focusing on putting it on the ends. The curls feel so good and so soft. Once it dries a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and install my unit. Okay, so I attempted to do the ball cap method. The front part is pretty much on, but the sides are lifting up. I don't know what I did differently this time, but it's okay. It's gonna work out. I also added some foundation on the wig cap. So this is the wig. These are the curls after, after about 45 minutes, I would say. But look how bouncy and soft the, the curls still are. So I added some foundation on the inside of the wig as well. 
to install my wig i'm using the olive oil fix it line so i'm using their grip gel and i'm using their liquid fix spritz gel i already added a little bit of the grip gel i'm going to add some more because it did dry so i'm going to add another layer I'm going to put the wig on. I'm just going to add some got to be spray to help melt the lace. I'm just taking a wrap strip and I'm going to use it to tie it down and have it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes before I take it off. So while cutting off my lace it got really white and I think it's because of I think it's because I used two layers of the grip gel plus the got to be free spray so there was a lot of product build up so um, when it was time for me to cut the lace off it dried really white so what I just did I just took my wet rag and I wiped off the extra product and I also just added a little bit more got to be free spray to kind of melt the lace a little bit more so I'm gonna have to do the same thing to the next side here I'm just putting some makeup back on my forehead and I'm gonna put some on my hairline as well to blend the lace So I feel like the hairline is looking pretty good. I don't know if I want to have it going all back or do a middle part. I really love middle parts, so I'm probably going to do the middle part. So I'm going to do middle part and going back at the same time. I threw in a couple of baby hairs, of course, especially to camouflage the hairline. I also just threw some more water onto the hair because it was getting dry, so I added a little bit more water um, to kind of define the curls more to show you guys how it looks really nice and wet. But I would definitely try this in a longer length. The last time I had a short curly wig was about two years ago when I was pregnant with Cassidy. So this is definitely refreshing for me. And I'm excited about adding this wig to my collection. I'm going to leave all the details in the description box below. Thank you so much RPG Hair for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love the look. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.